Hey everybody, New Daff here coming to you once again with another hotel review. This time we are in the let's get that in there. Where to go? Best Western Wilsonville Inn and Suites in Wilsonville, Oregon. That's where we are today. Staying here for just one night. Uh, let's take a look at this room. I actually got a pretty sweet room here as far as uh, Best Westerns in Wilsonville go. So first, let's take a look at the least important part. You can't even see in here. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a closet. Let's step back and take a look. Got a few hangers. Yeah. Luggage rack. That's what that is. Some other stuff that doesn't matter. There's no safe. Actually, no safe in there. I don't know what to make of that, really. It's not ideal, certainly. Hopefully, we'll find one elsewhere. Just close that up. We got a mirror on the outside of the bathroom. This is good in case you want to you know, check yourself out as you approach the day. Let's take a look in the bathroom. Now, I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to confess to you that I scoped this place out a little bit earlier, and here's the reason I'm not turning on the light. Oh, God. This. This right here. That's awful. Well, let's just take a quick look around. Usually I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. I mean, in the video and stuff. What, what, what do we got? I don't know. Archive. This is a soap from the archives. Save our planet. Don't flush the toilet. Don't use anything. Leave as soon as possible. Um, shower looks. Well, we got a single shower head. There's really not much going on here. This looks like the shower I might have in my own house. I won't even focus on it. There's something wrong with this place. Let's turn this off and get the noise level down again. Very good. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a little preview of where we're going. So we got some uh, Toulouse. Let's check out the sink. Oh, the reason this episode is very exciting is that my phone's about to die, so let's see if we can get through here before it dies completely. Uh, archive. More stuff from the archive. Jeez. Ice bucket. Stuff like that. Nothing underneath the sink. Oh, you can't even see that. Oh! Help! Okay. There's not much going on there. Now, this lamp is actually alright. It's got this style of uh, on-off switch. I don't mind that. This is good too. We have a Bible in here. Oh yeah, there it is. <sighs> For those God-fearing ones among us. Look at this tree. There's a tire swing on there. Is that a photograph? I think it might be a photograph actually. Huh. Very good. The bed is... Uh, uh. It's okay. Seems alright. But look at how many pillows I have. Five pillows? How many people do they expect to sleep in this thing? Jeez. Now this thing confuses me. I don't understand what a clean remote is. Like, does that mean they cleaned it? I mean, as far as I can tell, it's just a regular remote. Come on, focus, man. Focus. Yeah, I don't know what this means. It says clean world. Is it a TV remote or is it not? It looks like a regular LG TV, so I don't know what they're going on about here. Alright. A little hard to see, but we've got the mini fridge in here. Oh, totally empty. No complimentary stuff for us that to, for us uh, to take, which is surprise, not complimentary. We've got a microwave. Hey, you. That's good. I have not had a microwave in my hotel room in some time now. These drawers all look empty. I'm not going to check them out. Um, pretty functional desk. Ooh, it's getting washed out. Pretty functional desk. This pen isn't even worth stealing. It's too bad. This AC unit is like, holy crap, it's cold in here. How do I... 65! 65! Let me set this to my preferred temperature, which is like... Let's do like... 77. 77 sounds good. Close that back up. Now, since I'm on the first floor, I have basically no view. So instead we'll look at stuff inside this room. Such as this photograph of grapes. Stuff. Here's this really like old school couch, like kind of tacky. Oh, I mean, I could sit in it, but it's really not that comfortable, to be honest. There's not a whole lot going on there. Another lamp of the type that I like. Got a little clock. Timex, actually, I wear a Timex, too. Check it out. For twins. That's a Timex. Look at that. Picture perfect. It's 9.22 p.m., as you saw there. It's like a weird stain in there. It's like some, some kind of warping. What is this plug into? What is this? Oh, it's the light on the other side. That's weird. 
Couldn't they? What does this one plug into then? Yo, there's a mystery. This place is confusing. I'm done. Alright guys, this place made a strong enough impression on me that I gotta do a follow up. Uh, this one is, is specialized to the bathroom. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. We're gonna have to bear the, the loud noise in here from the fan once again as I show you this. So I didn't take a close enough look at this bathroom yesterday. Uh, the bathtub and the toilet in particular. So I want to point out two things I don't like about this. First one is, so if we check out the apparatus that we use for controlling the water, like the type I like is where you can pull out to adjust pressure and turn side to side to, to adjust uh, heat or cold. And if you look on here, you can't see, but this is a, a blue gradient changing to red, which means this is a single, you know, single uh, dimension thing. So if you want hot water, come on, let's get the focus. Come on, man, you can do it. You gotta start from here and go all the way like that. That's hot water. That's cold water. So this thing basically runs at one full pressure. Look at how much water is accumulating at the bottom too. There's something. Look, the drain shut itself. I'm not gonna. Oh, I better fix that. Look at that. The drain shut itself. That's weird. It shouldn't be happening. We don't want that water accumulation in the bottom. Anyway, that's not a good. That's not a good design. I don't like that very much. And here's the other thing. Check out how far up that that nozzle is. It's like like up on the ceiling. It's weird. But um, come on, folks. This low light is killing it, man. But, but check out how, how this is mounted here. Look at how wobbly that is. What do you think happens when that much water pressure goes through there? That's right, it wiggles back and forth constantly. Plus, this, this cable, the, 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 the hose is sticking out from the wall, so you end up bumping into it because this angle is like that. You can't even change the angle because this is so loose. It just comes back. Now, here's your other option. The other option is you mount it to this weird little thing, right, like this, which uh, is good. This mount's actually a lot better. See, it's got a little bit of a, you know, rigidity there, but it dips down, and look at how high up that goes. Now, my phone is basically at eye level. This thing is basically at eye level. How am I going to take a shower in that? It's for little kids. Also, why does it go down to, like, the ground? What are you going to do down there? So, I got some serious problems with this shower. It was not serious. It was kind of a pain to use, though. All right, now I saved the best part for last. This toilet is basically non-functional. Like <laughs> it just does not work right. Alright, now check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate here. And you may think this is a bit wasteful, but don't worry, it, it, it won't be. I'm gonna flush here and we'll see what happens. Actually it worked that time. Oh no no no. Well Oh that time it actually got it. Now the last like four times I flushed, it either didn't flush all the way or all the, like, st stuff came back up, let's just say. And it made that, that, that whining noise for like five minutes. Well, we got lucky this time. You live another day, toilet.